You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. How you doing, Dan? Oh, man, just busy, busy, busy. There's so much going on. First first and in, in, in foremost, well, good morning, Heidi, John. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, there you go. Take good care of formalities there. I'd uh, like to welcome our, our, our newest partner to the Absolutely. Sunny Radio family, Paul's Designer Showrooms. Yeah. Fantastic. When I say Paul's, I mean P-A-H-L apostrophe. Yes. Right over uh, Lake, Lake Lorraine. Yeah, right yeah. On, uh, Beautiful Lorraine. stuff in there. That is a cool place. They got yeah. some really, really neat, really neat things. Yeah, if you're in the mood for, <laughs> in the mood for lighting, mood <laughs> lighting, it's a place, uh, you know, first time I walked in there, it was, I got, about, I got about 10 feet into the showroom and just stood there gawking. Yeah. Turning around in a circle, going. Yeah, I know, it's stunning. Whoa, yes, Carrie and Pam and uh, Mark and the the team over there. Uh, welcome aboard. It's it's going to be a good time. So very nice. Let's see. Eddie Grant is uh, still going to rock on through Electric Avenue. He's seventy two today. He is a super nice dude, by the yes, way. You, you have you have had the pleasure of talking, Eddie, more than one once. Of yeah. Neatest things is uh, we have a young man that we record some stuff with, Eric, and it was on the news that we did this. And when that news got on the internet. It got all the way to Eddie Grant, and Eddie Grant called in and did an interview with Eric and and myself. We got to do a nice little interview. He is just one of the kindest people on the planet. So, Eddie Grant, love you. Happy birthday, man. And this is also a salute to mothers-in-law. It happens to be Mother-in-Law Day. That's a true story. It was established Back in 1934 in Amarillo, Texas, I don't know why. I didn't know it was a thing, but, but I love it, my. I have a, a great mother-in-law. There you go. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And let's see, 2002, uh, that crazy reality TV series, The Osbournes, premiered on MTV. Nice. Now you're up to date. Now you know, and that's uh, that's all I've got, and it ain't much. But I'm doing the best I can do with what I got, which ain't much either. And I don't oh, know what the so heck's not. going on anymore. But I'll tell you what, things are going to get better as we go along here. It's going to get way better. We got a lot of good stuff. We got uh, Ranger Dan coming in. We got some uh, water cooler talk coming up. Also, got Troy Hartman from Hartman Technology. Going to chat with him about the Sioux Falls Business Expo that's going on today. So swing by and see us all of the details in just a bit. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better Better fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Good morning Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. The second here, old Ranger Dan. Wow, what's going on? So he's not really all that prepared, it looks like. <laughs> Got my boots on the wrong feet this morning, getting out of bed, or what the heck? The deal is? What's going on? What that be a less deal, little Radio Rangers? Do not wear your hiking boots to bed. Just, <laughs> things wake up ugly in a hurry. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Where are we at here? Oh, John, how are you? Fabulous. How are you? And uh, Heidi, I couldn't help but notice, sir. You brandishing some of them fancy soccer mom yoga britches? <laughs> yes, I am. Tell you what, those leave nothing to imagination. Look like they're they're painted on. <laughs> <laughs> they, they might so, be. Yeah, another glance there, and I say this with all due respect. I kind of like to melt you down, add a little solvent, maybe a huckleberries for color, and. Be, paint my darn bathroom with you <laughs> <laughs> let's get after a little radio rangers it's critter knowledge time let's quit mucking around shall we you know uh warmer weather is here and of course spring just around the corner when spring hits the birds will be burdened the bees will be being the grass will be grassing and other things will be other thing and then <laughs> other thing and then you know, robins are headed our way. Perhaps you've seen one or two. Robins are pretty fascinating. In fact, the uh, scientific name for a robin, and uh, I only bring it up because it is semi-humorous if you're seven years old, it's the turdus. <laughs> Say it with me. Turd. 
Migratorius. Us. Migratorius. Us. Huh. But we'll just refer to him as Robbins, you know, a little bit Mr. Go. Miss Red, Red Breath there. You know, uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, nobody's really sure where Robbins go when they're, when they're not here, but according to some bird scientists, and they have a technical name too, say it with me, orthodontosalsusagists. <laughs> Wow. Bird scientists speculate that when robins aren't uh, hob, bob, bobbing around our area, that's uh, likely they're somewhere else. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty good uh, a pretty that's good. Guess. all the time we've got today, <laughs> old Radio Rangers. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Until then, you know the drill. Stay in school. Go to church. Say your prayers. Eat your vegetables. Don't be playing soccer. Don't let me get you wearing drugs. Is Ranger Dan out? <laughs> yeah, sir. Again, Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. If you struggle to drink without drinking too much, there is help. There are programs designed to help take alcohol out of your life for good at TimeForRehab.com. Don't let a drinking problem spill over into other areas of your life. Get help to quit drinking and start living the life you truly deserve at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's time for rehab. Com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. Mr. Dan Ferris back in the studio here with some really important news. You know, it's not until November, but the way things are shaping up, because November in the United States of America is going to be just a huge thing. Everything oh, from presidential yeah. elections to yeah. all kinds of stuff. We're going, we're going to the voting booths. That's, that's what we're doing. Really crazy. And this is just going to be a little snippet of it as it stands now. The great state of South Dakota and sports betting. Looks like that's going to be on the ballot in November as well now. Really? Okay. Yep, true story. South Dakota lawmakers haven't wasted any time putting together a proposal that could bring sports gambling to our state. After failing with an effort last year, legislators have tried again this past January, and their persistence has paid off. Uh, both the South Dakota House and the Senate have approved a measure to put a ballot entry on this coming November's election. So... There you go. What say huh. you? How do you guys feel about it? Do you carry either way? I don't carry either yeah, way. Yeah, it doesn't affect me, really. Go ahead. They're going to go, well, then it will be kind of state regulated, and then the state will get a cut. And just like with video lottery and all the other gambling, and it's, yeah, it's just another money maker, but it's like a false economy because it's not making any more money. Those dollars would have been spent elsewhere. See what I mean? Right. Oh, no, there yeah, there yeah, isn't more money anywhere. It's right. the same dollars. It's getting shuffled around a little bit. Right. That just ends up going to the state. Anyway, so I say no. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. Because, again, it's so technically, now- technically, you'd be able to go into wherever and <clears throat> place a bet. Let, let's keep it simple. You know, the Vikings are not going to win the Super Bowl. Here's 50 bucks, and I'll just burn it right now. <laughs> but now a portion of that money is going to go to the state. So and they will call it a tax. Would it only the be the technical in... term for that is theft? So yeah, I'm against it. <laughs> See how you feel. Um, would would it be only in Deadwood or is this everywhere? That would be statewide. Okay, I'm, I'm, I, I'm assuming. Yeah, I've been reading something about Deadwood. I didn't know what that was. Maybe that one would be sooner, and then statewide would be later. Well, Deadwood fired it up. Okay, because it's been a thing. For instance, right across the uh, border at uh, Grand Falls Casino. Grand Falls Casino. They just Bet Fred. Yeah, yeah, they just debuted that a few weeks back, right? Yeah, and I believe it's done quite well. Okay. Well, if the majority of residents say yes to this measure, state lawmakers will then determine how to proceed with the necessary rules and regulations for the industry. Chances are proponents are already putting together their suggested framework. So whatever, whatever. So, yeah, again, it's, you know, you got 20 bucks. You're going to go buy a meal. You're going to go buy a T-shirt. You're going to go gas the car. You're going to lay it down on what's the spread for, you know. The pennant races. Parlay that 20 bucks into you know, like 200 bucks. Yeah, and the difference is the, the state will, will uh, get a cut. According to a recent report by the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission, uh, sports books have a total of uh, $270.3 million in just the past Whoa. six months. Okay, oh so they've done okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, huh. there's a lot of money in that. Yeah. And I don't know if you know this, Dan. There are some people who do like sports. I love I love sports. I don't. Know hey, I'm not saying you know I don't mind a little wager. You know I, I lost twenty bucks this last season to, to, Charlie, to Heidi's yeah. dad. <laughs> that was just stupid. I just think it's funny to watch you two both getting into big arguments uh, about it. My, well, it was but what was it? December 29th. It was, you know he's a Chicago Bears fan. I'm, yeah, I'm a yeah. Vikings got a far better team. They're playing the Bears. I think the last regular season game. Who knew we were going to put our third stringers and our equipment manager on the field? <laughs> 
Like, eh, suit up the cheerleaders. Eh. Well, thank you for that report, Dan. Here I am just bitter all over again. <laughs> Festering resentments. Uh, if you want to come and see Dan and calm him down, he'll be uh, t- spending a little bit of time, I believe, today. At Darn the- it, kids. Don't gamble. It just ends ugly. <laughs> <laughs> at the Sioux Falls Business Expo. That's coming up. We're going to chat with one of the vendors and uh, presenter that'll be there, Troy Hartman, on the way. Do you have a lucky shirt? FunkyMonkeyShirts.com has several lucky shirts to wear next month for St. Patrick's Day. Or if it's a really lucky shirt, you can wear it every day. Green shirts, four-leaf clovers, Irish sayings, and more. Don't wait. If you order your lucky shirt right now, it can be here in time to wear for St. Patrick's Day. Find t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with Troy Hartman. He is one of the many awesome people you're going to be seeing today at the Sioux Falls Business Expo. Troy, how you doing, sir? Doing really good this morning. Well, I've, I've uh, known Troy for several years. Super good guy. But for folks that don't know you, explain what you guys do at Hartman Technology. We do a little bit of everything. We started out a long time ago, over 20 years ago, doing website development. And it's morphed more into... Uh, custom software development. So we help businesses solve problems through the use of uh, developing custom software. So if there's somebody that has a job that they're doing, but it's kind of a monotonous, just kind of doing the same thing over and over and over, and they're going, boy, I wonder if I could automate this. You guys can say, uh, yes, we can. Yep, that's exactly right. A lot of times we can automate uh, a lot of the business processes that people do on a daily basis. And, and the cool thing about that, I've actually seen this firsthand when, you know, some people think, well, when you automate it, it's not, that's not as good. No, most of the time it takes the human error out and then it, it actually works better. Uh, yes, you're exactly right. And you can have it run in the middle of the night and you can have everything ready to go when your staff shows up in the morning at 8 a.m. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff can be done, uh, before they even come to work. So when you get a chance to speak today at the Sioux Falls Business Expo, is there something in particular you're going to be speaking about? Uh, we're going to be talking about the importance of uh, technology strategy in every business and how to purchase technology wisely, what the criteria to use in order to evaluate uh, technology purchases. Very, very nice. Do you know what time you're going to be speaking today? Yeah, they saved the best for last. They have me at uh, 3.30 this afternoon. All right. Well, I will see you this afternoon, sir. Thank you so much for taking time to chat. Thank you. Again, Troy Hartman with Hartman Technology, one of the many people you are going to see today at the Sioux Falls Business Expo. Now, I know there's probably a lot of people listening that maybe this doesn't impact, but if you're in business, if you work for a business, if you want to start a business, all of these people absolutely positively be there today. All of the info at SiouxFallsBusinessExpo.com, and it's at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. Starts this morning at 10, goes tonight till 8, and I think most of that is like a a mixer, but uh, you can kind of come and go as you please. All of the details at Sioux Falls Business expo.com. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from 25000 to 40000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's sing- singlestudentloan.com. Time right now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Oh, let's take a look here. (laughs) You want box office or, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of talking out loud. You know what? What? Sometimes I just kind of hang a left because it keeps things interesting. But I got my one snap and finger ready to go here. And you're being very, you're being very beat Nicky there. (laughs) All right, here we go. Because celebrity. Fabulous. Ah, fabulous. fabulous. Except sometimes life goes on and some will come back out of the weeds and turn on you and beat you with the ugly stick, man. <laughs> and it's coming down the pike with the advent of that big cockroach. What's his name? Wallenstein, Harvey. Uh, Harvey Wall- that dude, yeah, he's just guilty on some charges already. And oh, yeah, he's, yeah. He's going away for a long, long yep. time. Well, here's part of the skinny. Now, it's not exactly the same thing, but it's still about the toxins. Of Hollywood in the mm. way things can go on. Heidi, I know you're a huge fan of Corey Feldman. I am. 
When Corey was 15 years old, he dreamed of creating a safe place for kids who had suffered sexual abuse. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of a long and storied thing. I think uh, Corey's 48 now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The actor, when he entered uh, the industry at his, really his first little gig in 1978 at age seven, he did an appearance on Eight is Enough. If you remember that series. And of course, he's been in Gremlins, The Goonies, phenomenal oh gosh, movie. Huge one of, one of my favorites, Stand By Me. I will always oh, watch I that movie. I love Stand By Me. Published a memoir back in 2013, and now he is about to publish a book naming names in Hollywood and some really big names about I'm I'm glad. Good for him. He was abused as as a kid. Yes, he was. So was Corey Haim. And so was Corey Haim. Yep. And uh, according to this, Corey, the last two years have been insurmountable, but I believe that with great risk comes great reward, and I believe uh, the reward in all of this, if nothing else, will be that these guys are finally exposed. I'm hoping that uh, what is happening to Harvey Weinstein will happen and that the multiple victims will come forward. Yeah. So this is... Uh, wow. Mm, 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 mm. Big fat hairy deal. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. I'm uh, not exactly sure when this is coming out, but it's coming, and I'll yeah, keep you I'm, posted. I'm, I'm really glad that he's finally speaking out. Me too. Yeah. Long well, time coming. Well, so there Dan, you go. It seems dark and all that, because it kind of is, yeah. but... Kind of a doubt, But it needs Dan. to be done. It needs to be done. I mean, this should have been done years and years yeah, ago. 30 years ago would have been yeah. a better time, but, but this works. Well, thanks for that downer, Dan. Hey, glad I could cheer everybody up. <laughs> Way to go and ruin a Thursday. Sorry. Hey, the good news is we're going to make it all better, though, because uh, first of all, we've got the uh, Sioux Falls Business Expo today. Stop by. If you have a business, you definitely want to stop by. It's free. It's from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. Anytime during that time, you can stop in. Stop it was a good by. time last year. Yeah, it was a very good time. Yeah. It's at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. Uh, We just had a chance to visit with Troy Hartman. He'll be one of the people speaking there. And something that I didn't say yet, but I'm going to say it now, and we'll be broadcasting from there today. We're going to be giving away some free advertising, too, on Sunny Radio and on Sioux Falls News Radio. If you would like to stop by our booth, you can register to win. We'll see if we can make you a winner. All the details, if you just keep listening or stop by and see us. And if you want the details on the event, you'll find that at SiouxFallsBusinessExpo.com.